Hi, I'm Kenza. And I'm Josie. And, and we're, we're part of Psy Girls Code. Even though technology is everywhere around us, there aren't as many girls and women going into computer science classes and careers. Psy Girls Code is a pilot program that addresses this problem. Using today's technology innovations to teach computational thinking and coding skills to 160 girls at 16 sites across the country. We're spending nine months learning about apps, robotics, and e-textiles. After each section, we have a makeathon to show our new skills in a creative project. Check out our Medusa robot. One thing that's really cool is that we use LED lights to poke through a hole in her head so the lights can turn red when you activate the light sensor. We like doing these projects because they're fun and they show creativity. Now let's hear from the researchers studying the impact of SciGirls code. My name is Cassie Sharber. I'm an associate professor of learning technologies at the University of Minnesota. On the SciGirls code project, I am the primary researcher. The research study is an embedded multi-site case study. It's utilizing surveys, interviews, observations, and artifacts. We are exploring three questions in the research study. The first question relates to learning. So we're trying to understand how computational thinking experiences impact the development of girls' computational thinking. The second research question is focused on interest. We're trying to understand how SciGirls Code and programs like it impact girls' interest in and attitudes towards computer science. And the third thing we're trying to understand is participation. So how does engaging in SciGirls Code impact learners' perspectives and thinking about themselves and about how they relate to the larger world? The tool that SciGirls Code is using to connect girls across programs is called Flipgrid. This is how we SciGirls Code. Sci -Girls Code. Sci -Girls Code. With this tool, girls in this program can talk to the other girls all around the country and all of the other programs. So they're meeting each other, they are sharing apps they're making, they're posing questions to each other. And so really what they're understanding through this is that coding isn't an individual thing. It's actually more powerful when you create and share and interact with other people. And this is a key piece to the SciGirls Code program. It's a key piece to doing connected learning. To summarize the emerging findings of the research study so far, first, we're seeing an increase in confidence in girls related to coding. We're also seeing an increase in the shift towards future interest in pursuing computer science related careers. And then lastly, there's just immense excitement related to computer science, computational thinking, and coding in general. Thanks for letting us share what we're creating at SciGirls Code. We have to go finish programming our Medusa robot. Bye. Bye.